like after passing out i worked in dubai for almost 9 years and uh, dubai uh, dubai practices such uh, that everyone everyone wants a iconic project and uh, that is how dubai has shaped up hi i am architect abhijit purohit i am the executive director of uh, arch group international and i um, i'm leading successfully leading the practice in india and so i'm i'm happy to sh- share this moment with the viewer of india art and design so uh, in 2006 when the web was at its peak and uh, we were finding it like uh, very difficult to get uh, good people we were already like 250 plus staff so uh, that's when uh, my md uh, mr ashok kurgaonkar he decided that uh, let's have a back end office in india so that's how uh, we got about and we started arch group uh, international india in 2008 and then one day he called me and uh, he just asked me like uh, would you be interested to lead a uh, like a office so i i kind of at the spur of the moment i to, uh, i told him yeah i mean i, I would uh, like to try it uh, um, a very uh, different uh, route and a very different uh, not my comfort zone <laughs> kind of a route so uh, i this decision was taken right across the table and i and of course like i mean i'm very thankful to mr shukur gaukar you know he has always been my mentor and my you know my support and like my father figure he has been instrumental in shaping uh, what i am today most important for us when we start a project is the design brief i believe that unless and until you don't get a proper design brief uh, or the parameters of your design you really cannot put pen to paper you know there are many layers like uh, when we go into uh, designing uh, you know in terms of the way we have to approach or design it and uh, then we then then i mostly get into uh, uh, designing through sketches because i do a lot of sketches i don't work on computers now nowadays but uh, right from the uh, initial time only i was very good at sketches and i believe that uh, helps a lot in kind of churning out ideas Okay, so uh, so uh, when I was in uh, when I was working in Dubai, we we had got a, a project by Taj. It was a service apartment and a hotel, and it was on the Palm. Uh, there was already a, a architect from uh, US who had designed that. We were supposed to be the local architect. So, but when he kind of he did his third presentation, the client was still not satisfied with the way he had designed it. because what had happened is it was on the outer crescent of the palm and you have ce on both the sides so uh, then uh, and i was not there for those meetings because i was way too young but i uh, my boss uh, came at 11 o'clock and so he told me like i we need to do a quick sketch of the hotel and he explained to me that how that hotel needs to work and what how the entire thing needs so it was not like a small project it was like a huge uh, project so i was like okay fine so uh, when do you want it and he was like uh, yeah we have a meeting at 4 o'clock and like okay <laughs> so i sat and i sort of just quickly we i mean sketch the layout the plan just you know kind of how that circulation would happen and things like that and uh, he saw it at 4 o'clock and he said okay come you come along with me we'll go for the meeting and then we presented it and uh, they they liked the idea where we had almost 100% room facing on both the sides then we were sort of given the project and uh, we kind of designed the entire thing then one very uh, notable uh, project that we have completed recently was the uh, corporate house for adani group at amdavad and uh, there was a requirement for uh, for for them to get all their businesses together so we designed it in in, in a way that we took some philosophy from uh, this adan group's thought process uh, and they because they talk about uh, stability growth uh, when we are talking about uh, adan group that that's what comes to mind so stability is something that that is you know more uh, horizontal and growth is something you depict with with verticality so that was the main uh, thing concept when we designed it so we have one horizontal structure and then we had one vertical structure which sits on that 
uh, which which became the tower where the director flows and all happen at the higher level and at the lower levels we had the um, uh, all the employee facility uh, offices and all and at the mid level like which is the pip level we had the cafeteria initially one of the uh, visits to the site when we had done but that time it was fairly barren and then we saw a lot of workers in the afternoon they used to sit in the shade of the tree and they used to eat their food so that is where we came up with this concept for the cafeteria which we thought that let us just kind of reflect something like that and we had this cafeteria which has these tree columns and then it has a it has the canopy which uh, which which is like a trapezoidal shape we have taken and they sort of represent the leaves and then we had a, a effect of solid and uh, vision panels within that so when the sunlight comes in you know you get that feeling as if you're sitting below a tree and light filtering through the leaves and all that so and 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 it was planned at that level because it was midway so we we had like 13 15 floors and this was happening on the 6th floor so it was midway so from the tower also it becomes like a slightly equidistant for people to uh, to come down to the cafeteria uh, so this was a very uh, what do you say a complex uh, project to resolve uh, but it was really good fun doing doing it i would say we don't have a particular style uh, of uh, of kind of conceiving a project but it is all based on the program or the design that uh, that comes from the clients we we uh, so our group does uh, we have done all sort of cross section of projects say villa development of uh, 500 villas 800 villas 1200 villas uh, we have done like hospitality is one of our forte uh so we have done a lot of five star and all all level of uh, uh, hospitality projects so to summarize like we have done more than 10000 uh, rooms uh, of projects till now then we, uh, we we have done corporate houses commercial developments residential developments uh high rise towers uh but hospitality is like really close to the heart post covid people have suddenly realized they want to travel a lot <laughs> before before the next pandemic comes in <laughs> so uh, more and more uh, the trends are also changing because so typically like if you are doing say a radisson or a marriott you know they they have to look at their space planning their approach towards everything like the fnb like earlier typically they would ask for 3 2 or 3 fnbs but nowadays they make do with even one fnb but design it in such a way that it it multi functions itself so and and along with that there are a lot of other trends that are coming in in terms of planning that how do you plan for for such a big crowd how do you kind of kind of create the spaces which become more revenue generating uh, uh, aspects rather than just uh just dead space you know so all these uh, the the trends are uh, keep on changing and evolving see if you have to achieve something in life you have to get out of your comfort zone and if you don't get out of your comfort zone you'll never know what you're capable of you know like so i i never in my life thought that i would be ever leading a organization and that was never the aspiration or you know like what you look towards that but then somehow you it's like swimming you just jump into the well and then you have to you find your ways of floating i mean that's how it that's how it is you know so uh, you just discover yourself when you kind of push yourself push your limits you your boundaries and you will always find that uh, you know you are capable of, capable of much more than uh, what you actually feel or think about yourself thanks a lot